planet Earth, one of the most dynamic planets in our solar system that is constantly changing. The Earth is an open system, which means that energy and mass is constantly exchanged between the Earth and its surroundings, causing the different Earth systems to interact with one another. Such systems include the climate system, geodynamo, biosphere, and the plate tectonic system. Fundamental to understanding why the Earth is constantly changing is the principles of the Earth's layers and plate tectonics. The Earth is made up of three primary sections, namely the crust, the mantle and the core, which are all interconnected with each other. The Earth's crust consists of the continental and oceanic crust, the lithosphere and the asthenosphere, which has an average depth of 250 kilometers below the surface. Moving deeper towards the core of the Earth, the mantle is encountered. The Earth's mantle, which is molten, is located beneath the crust and comprises of iron and magnesium silicates. It is divided into the upper mantle at an average depth of up to 670 kilometers below surface and the lower mantle some 660 to 2,900 kilometers below the surface. The core is situated at the center of the Earth. The Earth's core contains the outer liquid core at a depth of 2,900 to 4,980 kilometers below the surface, and the inner core at 4,980 to 6,370 kilometers below the surface. Geologists speculate that the Earth's core is made up of nickel and iron. The Earth's crust consists of various plates called tectonic plates, which are constantly in motion relative to one another. Tectonic plates are formed, changed and consumed along plate tectonic boundaries. Geologists differentiated between three different types of plate tectonic boundaries, including divergent, convergent and transform plate boundaries. At divergent plate boundaries, Two adjacent tectonic plates move away from each other because of rising magma, causing the crust to thin, fracture and separate. As this happens, lava flows out of the fissures, creating new crust. Divergent plate boundaries occur at two distinct locations, including oceanic plate separation and continental plate separation. The most common example where oceanic plate separation takes place is at the mid-ocean ridges. At these locations, forces pull neighboring tectonic plates apart, causing earthquakes and volcanoes to occur. Continental plate separation is similar to that of ocean plate separation, except it is located on land. One such example is the East African Rift Valley. As new crust is formed at divergent plate boundaries, existing crust must be destroyed somewhere else. At convergent plate boundaries, exactly this happens, where two neighbouring tectonic plates collide. As a result, the leading plate gets pressed underneath the other plate, and this is known as subduction, causing increased seismic and volcanic activity. Ocean-ocean convergence occurs where two oceanic tectonic plates collide and get subsided. As a result, deep sea trenches and volcanic island arcs form. At ocean-continent convergence, an oceanic tectonic plate collides with a continental plate. This will cause the oceanic tectonic plate to get subsided beneath the continental one due to its lighter weight. As this happens, the continental ledge crumbles and gets uplifted to form mountains parallel to the deep sea trench. Where continent-continent convergence occurs, no subduction takes place due to the same densities of the colliding plates. The outcome of this collision is the formation of a high mountain range with a wide plateau, causing severe earthquakes. The third type of tectonic boundary is known as transform boundaries. Transform boundaries are where two adjacent tectonic plates move past one another without colliding. But rocks get shattered severely 
and numerous shallow focus earthquakes take place as a result of the movement.